Being a tower defense game, it's safe to say that turrets are a pretty big part of Mindustry's gameplay. So that's all good and all, but what if we didn't use a single turret to defend our base, instead using units? It's worth noting that instead of playing on a custom map, I'm going to be playing on a regular campaign sector. Let me know what you think in the comments. Of course we're playing an extreme threat sector, because I'm not a wimp. Uh, that didn't happen. Alright, I'll go to a high threat sector instead. One thing I noticed straight away is that there's barely any copper and lead around the core. I'm gonna have to set up some monos way earlier than usual. It feels weird making silicon before anything else. It doesn't really matter because I'm gonna need these unit factories for defense anyways. And there's the first enemies. I make the rules so the player counts as a unit. And here's some quick and dirty graphite. I try to make a quick metaglass setup, but I remember I don't have unloaders yet, so I just hand feed it and it looks awful. And I'm upgrading to steam power. As you can see, I'm not doing a very good job of defending my base, so it's time to start working on some defense. Luckily I already have two unit factories right here, so I can just switch them over to start making flares. And here's some more silicon. I couldn't fit enough drills in, so I just kind of folded it in half. It works. I reckon I've got enough flares to make an actual defense now, and I also start making some daggers. This is pretty much just a regular defense, but with units behind the wall instead of turrets. One good thing about this is that you can cram a lot more units in one space than you can turrets. This is quite far away from the main base, so I just make a mini power plant here to power the healing projectors. Every defense looks better with a shield. I've almost hit the unit cap, so I start making some novas very slowly. I start work on an actual good power plant, and then I remember I have no meta glass supply. Oops. Alright, I don't care what you think, I'm going to keep this awful set up. And that's power done. Time to finally bring it up to the actual defense. There's no thorium on this sector, so I might have to go with plastanium walls. Unfortunately, the closest decent titanium patch is all the way up here, so I have to make this ridiculous long conveyor belt. I never thought I'd say this, but this is actually a decent way to defend your base, because units don't require amateur work. And here's the plastanium. It's slow, but it works. I'm not sure if I really needed to do this, but I start making some tier 2s. And would you look at that, I finally remembered I could use titanium belts. The enemies are getting stronger now, so it's about time I upgraded to plastanium walls. I'm honestly surprised I lasted this long with only two layer thick copper walls. I want thorium, and luckily we can make it from scrap, except we can't. Just like last time, I forgot that you need thorium to make it. So I just import some from another sector. I also accidentally took some surge with me somehow, but I don't want to cheat too much, so I just throw it on the ground. All that for this pathetic amount of thorium. I don't know why I even bothered. And I upgrade the power plant again for some reason. I try to organize the units into rows so they can all shoot at the same time, but it doesn't really work. And here I finally fix my metaglass problem. Putting containers around the core always makes it feel more legit, even if it only adds an extra 1k storage or so. I designed the silicon blueprint myself, which is why it barely works, but at least it kind of looks nice. Also, don't ask why I'm using mechanical drills for this, I don't know either. I couldn't really make any more land units, but there's some water here, so I just make a janky setup for boats. And here it is, the final wave. A little bit anticlimactic, but oh well. The challenge is done. And that's it. In all honesty, units are a pretty good way to defend your base, but I'd still go for turrets any day. Units just take too long to build, 